the coldest March on record. We had the wettest April on record. Uh, since I was elected on Monday night, we have had three days of sun <laughs> in a row, almo almost unheard of. So uh, hopefully those, those, uh, those changes last. I have only one uh, really point to make before I do a little uh, presentation. Um, Peter McNanny is the chief executive of Belfast City Council. He's a marvelous uh, leader of this council in a difficult time. I think we have the best uh, leadership and management team in the country, uh, and we have really resolved to uh, drive the city forward. We have a lot of plans, but there's only one I want to share with you. We have started an apprenticeship scheme within Belfast City Council. Uh, we will deliver quality uh, apprenticeships for 10 people, small number, but very important in my view. Applications, 758. Uh, delighted to say that it got over the line and Monday night's full council. Um, we need you to do more of that. We want you to join with us in delivering training opportunities, uh, delivering apprenticeships. Minister Farry is uh, on the ball in regard to this. We need to do it quicker. Uh, we need really to step up to the plate. So I know uh, more than anyone the importance of the job creation, wealth creation that you do. But in the year ahead, we'll really be asking you to join a partnership with us uh, to do more for our young people to get them into work. And uh, we know that you can't magic jobs into existence, but we have to do more for our young people. 20% of our young people are unemployed, uh, which is, you know, it's a, it's a shame. On the other hand, it means we have this huge pool of educated, talented, eager, enthusiastic talent. And when I look around at some of the global powerhouses that are in Belfast today, all state, city, New York Stock Exchange, and our, our, our homegrown uh, blue chip companies like Andor, I believe that we can do more uh, to build the city together and really to get jobs in particular into our working class areas. Now, I have a long speech which Anne McGregor wrote for me. I think that you don't want to hear that instead. I'd like to make uh, two uh, small presentations. And, and I, asked, um, I asked your colleagues, could I have the, the guest list? They give me this. Uh, and of course, I wanted to check that two of our great friends are here. Um, the greatest honor that the Lord Mayor can bestow is a tie today. We're working on a beautiful certificate of accommodation, which will be ready uh, next week. But uh, two, two heroes of mine in building the city, uh, one from a new company and one who's a veteran of arguing for jobs and opportunity for working class areas. So maybe they're, they're, they're refusing to come up near the stage because we're told to. So Claire McIntyre from New York Stock Exchange gets a round of applause. She's coming up. And, uh, and to, keep her, to keep her company, a great champion of, of uh, inclusion in Belfast, John Simpson, the Belfast Telegraph commentator, real veteran worker. I served with him on the Shankill Task Force 11 years ago. John, we haven't had enough delivery, but we will have more delivery. So John Simpson as well. Where's he hiding? Um, um, hey, John. You have an advantage, John, because you wear a tie occasionally. Claire, I don't know what you're going to do with this, but here's your tie. And Mr. Simpson. Yes, you do. <laughs> someone, I'm sure someone's in charge here, so uh, have a great lunch. I'm going to meet Representative Dino Flaherty. He's here from Boston. A great friend of Ireland. We're going to talk about economic missions into the city uh, next year and later this year, so we're going to really build the city together. Have a great lunch, Grandma.